Hello cookbook friends and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at vegan Africa plant-based recipes from Ethiopia to Senegal. I'm really excited. This is a newer cookbook and it's got a cool cover. So here's what it looks like on the inside briefly. I'll make sure to, to do a close-up in a, just a second. The table of contents is pretty easy. It is just, you know, broken down with like main dishes, starters, drinks, desserts, sides, that sort of thing. So very easy to navigate. Let's look at this very cool cookbook. I like how clear and concise everything is. Everything's bold. It's pretty nice. So here we have crunchy spiced chickpeas. It serves four. Talks about the cooking time right here. And then it talks about where this recipe is from and what you could serve it with and the page number. So that's really handy. You can see here we have our list of ingredients and then our just our directions right next to it. Pretty easy, huge photos. I love it. We have a roasted sweet potato hummus. Ooh, I like that idea. Isn't that just dipping mashed potato? I guess if you put tahini in it, it'd be a little sweeter. You could do some red pepper. Ooh, I'm getting ideas. We have plantain beignets. Holy cow. I like that this is a side. It says it's only 10 minutes. Oh my goodness. I'm tempted. Okay, here we have sweet potato fries. So you can see these are all the awesome sides you could serve and it's all vegan. Uh, East African flatbread. Ooh, that looks really tasty. Uh, we have sweet bread and this is like rolls. This would be really great for um, Thanksgiving and stuff like that. Here we have a roasted eggplant with tamarind. Beautiful charring right here. I love this. It sounds very good. I have a new love for eggplant right now. This is a sweet potato salad with mixed baby greens and cashews. So one thing I really wish that they did is that they told us exactly which country these uh, dishes originated from. I, I don't think this is just an all-encompassing every place in Africa will serve all of these things, but that's something I wish that we had was more information about each dish. Oddly, usually I'm not a reader for cookbooks, but I kind of want to see more. So that's something, a little bit of a critique. But so far, it's really beautiful. The photos are stunning. The recipes look very approachable. Like the ingredients are super, there's not a whole lot. And these are really easy to find at your local grocery store. Nothing too crazy. Here's a fresh pineapple salad. And um, a lot of these I'm noticing, it's if it is a long cook time, it's mostly because it just has to sit in an oven or just marinate for a little bit. Otherwise, it's not a whole, you know, it's pretty approachable. This is a beautiful photo. I don't know. This looks like this could be on a wall. This is a creamy carrot ginger soup. This would be amazing during fall. It's probably great if you are sick and it's like really comforting. This is plantain and uh, eggplant stew. Sauteed spinach and mushrooms with plantains. Yum. Chakalaka South African relish. Ooh. That is, oh, and it says it's typically served with rice, so it does tell you, it guides you with all of the things you might need to know with serving. Sweet potato and kidney bean stew. Lots of really awesome dishes. This is a Ethiopian cabbage, potato, and carrot combination. Can't go wrong with root vegetables. This sounds amazing. This is a Yasa burger. I'm trying to see what it's actually made from it look oh red bean cakes ooh and it's something you can actually make yourself vegetable maif or malayan peanut stew oh that looks awesome i'm getting hungry this is a Ghanaian banana puree and that looks just beautifully plated we have different versions of rice, and let's look at some desserts before we finish up today. Chocolate mousse, oh, yum. We also have here a, a coconut rice pudding. It looks like there's some mango in there. Oh, beautiful. This is banana peanut butter ice cream. Oh, man. And I'll do 
one more some drinks maybe oh no no we're doing this coconut lime french toast that is awesome i wish i had this i'm gonna make this this weekend i think so this is vegan africa this looks really awesome i think my favorite part about this is like everything i think almost every recipe has a photo and it's just really easy all the ingredients are really easy to get the dishes are approachable. It just looks like a really fun cookbook. I'm very excited to check this one out in more detail and cook some dishes. So if you want to see me do that, make sure to follow in our uh, socials. Those are down in the description down below. We have Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Also, make sure to comment, follow here if you do like cookbooks in general, and let us know what kind of cookbooks you want us to check out next time. Thanks so much.